Hey guys, so a lot of people keep asking me how to get a print ready for the 3D printer. So I wanted to go ahead and take a couple minutes and show you guys. You can do all of this on your own computer, or if you'd like, there is a computer, a, a giant Mac, in the library that you can work all this on. So there's two different ways that you can get a 3D print ready. The first thing you can do is you can go to Tinkercad. Oh, computer, don't hate me now. Tinkercad.com. You're going to have to create an account. Please be aware. Um, if you're under 13, you do have to get parent permission. I can't overwrite that. So when you sign up and you tell how old you are, if you're under 13, you're going to have to create an account. Let's hope that sign in works. Whew, it did. Okay. So Tinkercad's great if you know what you want to make and you want to make something um, that is truly specific to you. You can see there's different ones on here um, that I've been playing with or students have helped me to create. So all you're going to do is on your um, page, you'll just go to create a new um, design. Oh, I pushed a button. Yeah, so right here, just create a new design. You can click on that. Sorry. And then you have all these options. So they've got basic shapes over here that you can start with. You can scribble, you can type, you can make whatever it is that you need to do. They have um, numbers and text. They have characters. So if you wanted to physically yourself create an astrobot with chicken feet and bunny ears, you can do that in this. And um, they have different ways for you to connect things. So if you're trying to make a robot and you need connectors, you can do all that here in Tinkercad. Okay. So this is the one where if you're trying to create your own thing, you can totally do that there. And I'll have a video on how to work Tinkercad as well. The other place you can go that I find has really good things is Thingiverse. And in Thingiverse, you can just search for whatever it is you want. So let's say I want... What do I want? I want a Batman tree ornament. Oh, it helps when you find when you spell things right. Let's just do Batman. Oh my goodness. Oh, Batman cookie cutter. That's what I want. All right, so you find the thing that you want, whatever it may be. Okay, some of them charge you. You don't want to go to the ones that charge you. You want to get the free files. So once you've found what it is you're looking for, you want to click on the thing file and it's going to show you exactly what it looks like here. So if I open it up, it's going to download it and then I can open it up and make sure that that is really the file I want. And that looks awesome. That would be super fun to have. So I can do all my Batman cooking. Maybe this is a present for a family member, something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, this is where people get a little bit lost. From here, you have to go to Craftware. Craftware is free to download. You need to go to the kiosk and install it. So the kiosk is right here and you'll once it verifies you, you can install the software. Once you have it installed though, the great thing is you can you can get prints ready to go from your computer. So you can see this is the last one I did for Day of the Dead with our little Dobby altar. I want to do a new project and I want to so you can see, here's what you'll see. There may be something on here. Um, if there is, you can click on it and then remove it. Okay, I want to add my file. So now I just downloaded the Batman cutter. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to open it. Now, it's right now standing up tall. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to click drop plane. and it should drop it, so now it's laying flat. Okay, now mine doesn't need any support, so it's completely flat. All I have to do is look at it and slice it. If you have anything that's not flat and connected like this, you're going to want to add supports. Okay, so to do that, you just click support right here, and I auto-generate supports, if I'm gonna be honest, but like I said, mine won't need any. You can just click the auto-generate if it would need any. I need to be good to go. So I'm going to clear all mine and I'm going to go back to the object. If you want to make it bigger, you scale it smaller or bigger. I liked mine the size it was. 
You can move it around, rotate it, move it. So I'm going to move it over here because this is the side of the printer that never gets used. So if I do that here, it's a little bit nicer on the tape that I use. Um, you can rotate it, like I said, scale it, drop plane it, or you can just have it selected. Okay. If you want to change the angle, all you have to do is click the camera down here. You can see it from the left, from the right, from the top. That's what it looks like. You can look at it from the bottom. That's what you would see. I like just the front view. It's easier for me. All right, now I'm ready to go. I have it the size I want. I'm ready to slice it so I can save it. So what you do, you come over here and click slice. I'm gonna just do high. Don't do ultra and don't do medium. High is the quality we want. Okay, now here's the thing. You can automatically generate supports here if you need them. And then you can also add a raft. So if you have something that's not going to stand up on its own very well, you want to add a raft. Mine's going to stand up just fine. So all I have to do is click slice. And it's going to come with all this weird code looking stuff. And that's perfect. That's the code that reads on the printer and it lets me know what's going on. Now, from here, this is when you would either bring me your computer or you need to save this onto a USB if you have one, a thumb drive. You have to save it to a thumb drive. So... If I had a thumb drive, I don't right now, but I would click save, okay? And I'm gonna save as my name, okay? And if it's you have multiple prints, then you might wanna add what it is, so. Okay, now where you're saving it, again, if I had my USB in, which you need to have to save it, that's where you wanna save it. If you just save it to downloads, you won't find it later and then you click save. Now, that's really the whole process. So, if you're interested in doing a 3D print, you guys can bring your computer into me after you've gotten to this point where you're ready to save it. We'll put it on the USB, and I'll walk you through the steps from there. If you guys have any questions, please just let me know. Hopefully this helps so you guys can get started on your 3D printing. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.